Welcome to day two of content repurposing tutorials where I'm going to be sharing with you 30 days worth of time saving content ideas for all you busy creators out there. Today, we are going to learn how we can repurpose content with a voiceover. Hopefully you've already created your repurposing folder inside of your phone. If you're unaware of what I'm talking about, check out the intro welcome video where I go over how you can create a folder with everything that you can already repurpose. So for those of you who are ready, go ahead and select your video. The video that I'm going to be using today is this one right here. And so what we're going to do, I actually don't have anything, but this is just a behind the scenes situation that I'm using. And now I'm going to take the opportunity to incorporate a voiceover and use it once more. What I'm going to do here is press this up arrow and we're going to start off in CapCut. So I'm going to go ahead and send this over to CapCut. And now that we have the video in CapCut, what we're going to do is make sure it's muted. So we can press this mute button right here to make sure that there is no audio coming from the actual video. And we're going to head over to audio. And now we are going to press voiceover. So think about something that you want to say. So review your video, of course, and you can move the timeline to pick a place where you want it, or you can just start from the beginning. So in this one here, let me think about what I'm going to say. All right. Never allow excuses to stop you. So I don't have a studio, but this is my living room and I was able to get a session done and complete and have another happy client. Get things done and scale as you go. So now I have my voiceover and here are my options. I can review it. Never allow excuses to stop you. So I don't, okay. If I don't like it, I could delete it. And if I messed up and deleted it, I can go back and bring it right back. I can tap on it if I feel like I'm too low and I can change the volume. All right. There's a ton of Never different things that we can do. Okay. Even voice effects. If I wanted to make myself sound funny, like an elf, there are a ton of different things that you can do and the creative ability is on you for this one. I'm going to keep it regular, but one of the things I want you all to take note of as I zoom in here is it didn't start immediately. So I have a, a gap in it. So I'm going to clear that gap. I'm going to press right here on the timeline and I'm going to split it and I'm going to get rid of that empty space in the beginning so that we use all of the information as soon as possible. So it'll be like this. Never allow excuses to stop you. Now we have our voiceover. Let's go ahead and add some captions right onto this video here. So I'm going to press back and I'm going to press text. Now we're going to do auto captions. There are many different ways that you can do this, but auto captions is a true lifesaver when it comes to CapCut because you have the option to do it manually, huge time waster, or you can do auto captions, which does pretty well for recognizing what we're saying. So I'm going to go ahead and press auto captions here. And you have a lot, a ton, maybe even too much, too many options when it comes down to it. So there are different templates and this is how it will look. If you want it to be a template, if you want regular things, you can also continue to modify afterwards. So I'm not going to choose any of these at the moment. I'm just going to go ahead and press start and get the transcription going so that we can further edit from there. So now we have this here. Of course, you want to scrub do and just make sure everything is correct. For the sake of time, I'm going to customize these and show you all how to do that. So I'm going to press on it. I'm going to press here as well. And now we have different options. It's going to say templates, fonts, styles, effects, animation. This is where you can change uh, anything that's misspelled. So if I'm not using all caps, let me just go ahead and go over to the never and make it a capital N. Great. You can choose from different templates. If you have any, if you have any styles that you like, that's here. Some people will have different opportunities depending on the region that you're in. So if you don't have this, then you want to go ahead and just do the regular one. So I won't use any of these just in case some of you don't have access to it. I'm going to press font. This is where you can upload additional fonts if you have any, but we're just going to go and click the regular one. So I'm going to click use anything that's just free and static in here. So I chose Rubik and now we're going to go to style. You have the opportunity to choose different styles. This will change everything and make it everything look different. These have like different backgrounds, but if you wanted to do it, customize it yourself, you have the opportunity down here so we can change the size. All right. You can change the opacity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this one right here. I'm going to move it up. Now, mind you, whatever you do to this first one, it will do it to the rest of your text as well, but I can show you how to come off of that. So you only are manipulating one thing at a time. So you have text, you literally have stroke, glow, background. I can add a different background here if I didn't like the other one and you can change the color, things of that nature. So play around with this. If you have a specific style that you like, 
that you've seen, you can do that as well. So I just change this here. Shadow curve, like, a, okay, you can go on for days and days. But, so right here, this apply to, uh, apply to auto captions is where you can edit across the board or you can unclick it if you wanted to change something specifically. So I'm happy with the way that this looks. We can just check and make sure everything is looking good. Moving forward, all the way down. So I didn't use my voiceover for as long as the video was. The video is 20 seconds long. I spoke for about 11 seconds. So I can just press on the timeline here and go ahead and split this because I don't need the rest of it. So just be mindful of how long your video is and how much you want to talk, or you might want to copy it or add some more media if you have more things that you want to say. Okay. And so that is the basic thing. Let's view it really quick and then we can export. I'm going to press this right here to view it in full screen. Press play. Never allow excuses to stop you. So I don't have a studio, but this is my living room and I was able to get a session done and complete and have another happy client. Get things done and scale as you go. Great. I like the way that looks there. So you have more options that you can do uh, as you please. You can add audio if you want to. You can add sound effects, stickers, all that good stuff. And we can just export and post it to any platform that we need to, be it Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all that good stuff. Let's hop on over to Instagram where I can show you how to do this really quickly as well. So now we're over here on in Instagram. So we're going to go ahead and press the plus and we are going to make it a reel. I'm going to scroll all the way over to my repurpose folder so I know exactly the content that I have access to that I want to use. And I'm going to find that same video we were using just a moment ago. Okay, here it is. And I'm going to press next. Now I have this video right here. So we're going to go ahead and continue to press next so that we can edit it further. So I'm going to press the music button right here. And we are going to go over to controls and mute this right here. I don't want this here because this is just a sound from when I was shooting the video. And now we're going to go over to voiceover and we're going to be able to shoot our voiceover right here. Never underestimate the power of getting things done. Do not allow excuses to stop you. So I don't have a studio and that's just fine because my living room did the job and have another happy client. Scale as you go. All right. So that is there and I can press done. And I can go back to the controls and make sure that my voice over is there. Stop you. So I don't have a studio and that's just great. And scroll down. Happy client. So we have that here. Now, some people, depending on where you are for Instagram, you'll be able to add captions with this little smiley face button. You'll have captions somewhere around here. Now, I am in the UAE, so I don't have access to that captions options here, but you can add it there. A workaround for my people who don't have that if you want to add captions. So Instagram would just do the, the, the normal standard ones that come up, um, but there are filters that have different captions. They're not the best, but it's it's something. So let me show you how to do that. We'll press the stars button right here and that will be filters. And then we're gonna look for captions. All right, and we see here there are a few different options for captions. Like I said, this is a workaround. It's not ideal. So I can press this comic one and you have a couple different options and you can be able to see it's updating the captions right now. But when I press it, never underestimate the power of getting so things done. So you have this in a comic book style. Excuses. It works, right? If you don't like the options that it gives you here for the filter ones, you can just turn them off and just cancel it and have no effect there. The other workaround, you'd have to use another app, but you can just download this video right here and then put it in another app that you use to be able to add the captions and add it back. After you've added your voiceover and your captions, then you can go ahead and post it as you choose. As I said earlier, using voiceover and captions is a great way to be able to retell a story for some content that you already posted. So if you would please comment below with something that you have repurposed using the voiceover and using the captions, I love to take a look at it, give you all some feedback. Don't forget to join me tomorrow for day three where I'm going to teach you how to use text over your video.